This is from True Off My Chest, and it is titled, I broke into my mother-in-law's house today. Valentine's Day has always been special to my wife and her family. So the other day when I asked my wife what she wanted for Valentine's Day, she burst out into tears. This was obviously not the response I wanted, and I asked her what was wrong. Her dad died last summer. Clearly, I already knew this, but she goes on to tell me how he would always get her mom roses, Hershey kisses, and hostess ho-hos, and she's crying because he can't do that this year, and her mom will be alone. I have to work today, but I took a detour to mother-in-law's with roses, Hershey kisses, and ho-hos, knowing mother-in-law wasn't going to be home. I used the hidden key and got in, arranged everything, and then hightailed it to work. Mother-in-law won't be back home for another few hours, but I'm just giddy thinking about her reaction. I don't plan on telling either of them, so I just wanted to put this here. What a great example of what what your partner in life should be, right? Update. So my mother-in-law instantly knew it was me. She thought it was either me or my wife. She texted my wife first, and they put two and two together. She texted me and said, Duke, her dog, told me that you stopped by. So I told her, I don't know what he said. He's a liar. And she thanked me for the gifts, even though I thoroughly denied the accusations that the dog made. I mean, I thought we were pals, but Duke is out here telling my secrets, LOL. My wife says she has a special gift for me when I come home from work tonight, and tomorrow I'm taking her to her favorite steak place. So my big secret was a secret for all of one hour. Man. Man, yes, there is that element to it. There is that freaking element to it where you're like, uh what if you freak her out because she thinks that like her her past husband now made this shit happen like putting some kind of explanation there to not freak her out the fact that she knew who it was immediately is great like that you avoided that altogether which is great but but having a partner who who sees that something is like deeply troubling you and then hears it here's the explanation and is like I might actually be able to do something about that and not say anything just do it just do it to do it not want the credit just do it to make people feel good because making people feel good feels good. I think that's something I've, I've grown to understand later in life more and more. So it is, it is that, that doing good things for people is, is selfish of me because it makes me feel good doing good things for candy thunder and the kids and, and anybody doing good things that make people happy feels good to me. It's like that episode of Bluey when she cleans up a mess and her tail starts wagging. She's like, oh, I actually like helping and making people feel good. It is rewarding and it takes just as much effort to do something the right way or the wrong way or to do something kind or cruel. It takes less effort to do something kind than it does to do something cruel. It takes less effort to exude joy than it does hate because the tax of hate is higher. You carry it with you longer. It has negative effects on your body and your mind and your soul. Being good, a positive force in this world, is the easy thing to do. And you can do it selfishly because it makes you feel good. Freaking love it.